Yeah, 
Sometimes they put you in a hole and you don't know how to get out of it. No, they didn't put me in a fucking hole. They set me up. There's a fucking difference. Man climbs down a fucking hole and crap, but anybody can be lied to. When I was selling cars, I didn't lie to anybody. We had cocksuckers before the fucking interest law came in that lied about payments, told the guy's fucking payments to be $66, payments be $98, and I used to scold him for it. Go to the company and raise hell and tell them to straighten it out. These cocksuckers done the same thing, except there's millions of dollars involved. Yeah, I know what you I mean. I'll straighten up. Hang on, baby. Okay. You there, babe? Yeah, sure I am. Okay, they're on their way? Yeah. Yeah, it takes a little while to get these computers working I've got, got to tell you, I hope you're recording all that, are you? Oh, yeah. yeah I don't understand the fucking thing I'm doing. I've got to tell you how fucking badly I feel about fucking with you guys like this. It's uh, kind of right. hard for the average fucking guy maybe to understand this, but it ain't hard for my fucking friends to understand it because they've seen me die for four fucking years. Okay, we just want you to kind of keep calm as you can, because you don't Shit, maybe I'm calm. There ain't a fucking nerve in my body. You bet your fucking life on that, because I tell you, these cocksuckers, lucky they would deal with me, I'd have somebody else that have killed them a long time ago. I ain't shit nobody. I was going to come down with a body automatic, but he's got to me from Florida and get as many of them as I could and say, fuck it. And I decided that I really didn't want to die anyway, so I would try this one time. Hey, let me tell you, I know I'm on a fucking long, one way dead end fucking street, but I'll tell you one fucking thing. I didn't come up here to back down. And I'll tell you, I don't want to die. I don't blame I ain't afraid to die, though. And I ain't trying to prove it, I ain't afraid to die. It's my only fucking choice, Miller. I'll flat ass tell you. Yeah, I don't, I don't They know it's my only fucking choice. You, you wait, you, you'll get wind of what these cocksuckers have done. Yes, sir. This poor man's father sat right behind his fucking desk one day and said, I feel sorry for you. When you die, you're gonna go to hell. I said, don't you worry about it. I said, because I've lived in hell for 40 years. When I go, I'll be ready. Imagine a religious man talking to me like that, and all the time he's trying to pay, sit right behind that fucking desk one day and said, why should I lend you more money? I'm going to own that place for $110,000. Did you know that? Don't you jerk? God damn you. How many people You better tell this man not to jerk, because if he jerks, his fucking gun's going to go off. There won't be no fucking trial. Okay, Tony. What, baby? How, how many people do you have there with you? I just have one, so I want it. Just Mr. Hall? Yeah, just Mr. Hall. He's the head man. Yeah, I sold him a fucking Trojan horse like you wouldn't believe. I thought it was a classic, don't you, Dick? I mean this fucking act. How many people told you I was going to kill you? Did anybody come and tell you? Tell the truth. I told a lot of people I was going to kill you. I've been telling them for four fucking years. Do you believe that? Been telling them for four fucking years. Told a lot of big people, told lawyers, told real estate people. That's right, I told them. Told them, I told you guys, you ought to arrest this guy and he's dead for accessories. I ain't shitting you, I sat right here and told them. Is that right? I, I, did yeah. you ever once tell your dad, Dad, is he trying to threaten us when, when I left here? Did you ever say that? You guys aren't very fucking smart. They didn't believe it, did they? Hey, I sat right here and told them time and time again. Told them fucking stories, told them this, cried, you wouldn't believe, man. Yes, sir. I'm yep. sorry, what's your first name, though? Dave. David? Yeah. Do I know you? I don't know. Where are you? Where are you going? Quit moving, baby. Now hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Dave? Yeah, where's your business at? Well, where's oh, my business? I just got some ground letters from Rockdale. I've been a poor motherfucker all my life. That's what I'm trying Never to do. Never bothered me. Never bothered me a fucking day. I was off this when I was working. Okay, where was your business at? I, mean, I just got work. some ground letters driving around the road. Right. Yeah, I was trying to figure out if I worked in the district or not. You know, you know the fuck about me. The first guy the fuck told you this, and then what the fuck happened. And those other motherfuckers are going to have to admit. Now, you say you want to have the shotgun on his neck? Yeah. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Did you say you had the shotgun on his neck? Hey, let me tell you something, baby. I didn't come up here to get fucked around. Now, if you guys think you're going to get me out of here, if you got the SWAT beam across the street, I'll open the fucking brakes. Because if they blow my fucking brains out, this fucking shotgun goes off because I got a dead down line on the trigger. No, it's got don't. three contact points. Now, listen, let me tell you something. I didn't talk to her and start fighting with the fucking police department, but I'll tell you one fucking thing. I didn't find this thing to look like a fucking idiot. I was nobody, a fucking demolition expert in the fucking army. I trained cadets at West Point, and I was a fucking booby trap expert. Now, if you think you can get this son of a bitch off of him without me getting what I want, you guys try it. Although that's not why I came here, David. 
I told you. That's why I told you to call. Okay, Joe then, Collins. This is and what Joe I want. Cotton. Listen to me. You talk to those guys. If you think I'm a fucking bluffer, you better find out. This is what I want to find out, Tony. I want to see what these other officers have to go You don't have to go to You talk to the man. You talk to me. I'm telling you, baby. That's I'm not a hard ass guy. I never, I've never given anybody a shit in my life. Okay. <clears throat> but you got to remember, see, I'm thinking about these other officers. I just want to well, find well, out what I, 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 I got to compare I would with. shoot an officer. I don't have to shoot an officer. I don't want to kill an officer. There ain't no way. I've got a right. pistol in my belt. They're not going to touch it. They're gonna, they ain't going to touch this fucking gun because I can't get to it. If they move for that fucking gun, I'm going to tell you, this man dies. Then they kill me. Okay, if well, they kill me, they kill me first, then he dies. It's simple as that. Now, hang on a minute. Okay. Dick, do you got that? Yeah. Do you see this dead man? Turn around here. You see that ring on my finger? You see that? You see that? You see there's no safety in that gun? You got it in your hand? You got that safety in your hand? You see this dead man lying around my neck inside my hand? It's it. I'm scared. He, no, the situation is just like he says, officer. Okay, we believe him. We're going we're gonna to get you I'm not trying to give you a bunch of shit, babe, but I'm just trying to tell you the way it is. Well, that's what I wanted to find out. See, I, I told you. I, I told this truck in our carry brother and gun him down on the fucking sidewalk with a browning automatic. And then try to, you know, hope to live long enough to tell my fucking story. Okay, what do you want us to do when we get there? I want to, I want to talk to him first. I want to see the situation. And then I want a way out of here. I've got a place to go. I don't want to have that. Fucking security is breached. We've got, you got nothing to worry about till I'm fucked with. If you guys fuck with me, then I punish him. It's simple as that. I, I'm not going to kill the officer. They come here with a fucking gun in their hand. But don't put their gun in their hand. Put them out there. I don't care. Tell them to come in. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to yeah. do. I'm going to cut you off for a minute. Okay, okay then, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, we got to you on this uh, 9-11. All you have to do is pick the phone up. You'll have okay, me Okay, okay. But I, I, no, I'll... It don't make any difference. Just have your officers come. You've got that address, haven't you? Just yeah. come to clear your office because I don't want the lady shot. I don't want anybody upset. I've been upset for, uh, for 44 fucking years. Okay. I know what it's like. It's 129 East Washington, That's what I'm trying to tell you. Listen to me. Okay. I'm very, very concerned about this man's wife and his mother and his four children. I don't want them kids to be terrorized. I really am concerned about that. I found, I'll tell you, I'm such a fucking bossy, I found a fucking cradle one day that belongs to a city policeman. And the fucking dog, I cried over the fucking dog. Hang on a minute, hang on. I'm right here. And when they come pick up that dog, his name is Buffy, a little French cradle. I was, of course, I've been so upset for so long, but I cried because I always cry over there. And that, that poor old cop couldn't hardly believe it. He said, man, he said, you're really emotional. I said, yeah. You know, that's, I don't, he lived out at Porta Call. You there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Yeah, you guys come they, they don't have to worry. If they're scared, tell them to come in with a fucking gun lock. Well, you know we're all scared. I mean. Well, hey, no, you don't have to be scared. I'm telling you, I'm a hell of a man, baby. Um, I'm a hell of a man. Yeah, I'm, so I'm having trouble trying to listen to you and then... Well, I'm sorry. Too, well, they, they don't have to be scared. If you want me to, I'll walk him down. I, I, what I'd like to do is try to walk him out of here, but see some fucking hero is going to grab for me if I do. And when they grab for me, it's all over. Well, that's what we want. I've got number five shot in this fucking gun. He ain't got a fucking chance. Okay. He's in the same fucking chance they gave me. None. Absolutely none. Uh, this is what I'm telling the police officers. Hey, it's the not... fucking truth. I've told it the way it is. I don't give a fuck who knows it. I'm going to tell you something. It took me a long time to decide to do it this way. Because I know it's a fucking one-way street, and I know how fucking... I ain't going to prison for no motherfucker. Not after I've been in... They've tortured me for four fucking years. For no fucking reason other than greed, I can see no reason. I can see no reason. I, I sat down and talked to this man's father like I did my customer and I saw him cars and I told him, hey baby, if you have trouble with that car, you bring it to me, I'll take care of you. And that's what I did. You check with Billy Cotton. He'll tell you. Okay, well that's what we're telling the officer, that you're not mad at the police when you're Hey, there ain't no the fucking there. way. Right. There ain't no fucking way. That's where you, you send Billy, you get Billy and Joe, they come up there in a second. Okay, I got that. I, I tell you, I'm upset, but shit, man, I'm in good shape. Well, this I've been here for four fucking years. I've fought it every fucking way. Fought fucking deals. A man called me yesterday. Said he had a buy at that fucking place. And I said, I said, I'm going to close a mortgage tomorrow. And I said, if I remortgage it, there ain't no fucking deal. What place is that? Oh, that, I've got 18 acres of letters in Rockville. That's what the fucking squabble's over. Okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm still concerned about this man. Uh, uh, we're not getting any, any, any publicity yet. I'm worried about his family. God damn it. Right. What are we going to do about that? I don't know. 
Is it on radio? No, that's what we know. Well, uh, by God, listen, I'm expecting you guys to protect those people. If you don't, it's your fucking fault. His dad is early and so is his mother. Well, we're keeping it as cold as, you know, quiet as we can. You understand, somebody has a stroke or a fucking heart attack, I'm going to have to kill him. Because I ain't going to jail. There ain't no fucking way I'm going. <laughs> for no motherfucker. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to lay it down for a minute. I, I'm, I got to do some thinking. Okay, I'll be right here. Good man. Are you there, Miller? Yes, sure am. I'm down. I think he's gonna be all right. Okay. I'm glad I'll tell you, Dick. Were you playing music just now? No, was I? Yeah, I heard music coming oh, through. I got it on the intercom. Oh, on the intercom. Oh, okay. I've got. I called one of the guys out in the front office that I know has been a pretty good gentleman. I told him I had Dick under the gun. I've been talking to you people. There'd be a couple of officers up. Then what? What have they got? The whole floor? Oh, fuck! They got the whole building. You guys are big shots. Big shots. Yeah, they don't need guns. I've got four people. Hang on, man. We'll talk to you. Okay. You get nervous? Get fucked up? We're in trouble. You there, babe? Sure I am. Okay. Have you seen any officers out there yet? Do you know no, I haven't seen so. I imagine Art's got them out there. Maybe had them out there when I called. I don't know. I'm not sure if they're there or not, because I can't get off of this line to find out. Well, you can if you want. You can come back. Well, I just didn't talk to you. Well, I'm all right. I got enough of hey, you guys up here. I'm glad to ask you. You're in good fucking hands. The most sane fucking mad man you've ever seen. Maybe they'll try to prove I'm insane. Maybe they'll get out of it. You reckon? I'm going to get out of it because there ain't no fucking way I'm going to do time, David. There ain't no fucking way. I, I ain't don't. going to nobody's fucking jail. I don't blame you there. I'll flat ass tell you. Have you talked to Joe? Yeah, we're getting him on the phone now. I got the other. Have you talked to Billy Cotton? Not yet. Call Billy, goddammit. Okay. He's my belly. I think he's working part time. This is the thing. We're trying to oh, try catch him at home. So. I'm going to put the phone down. Okay. I've got I've got that property. I've got a garage up there with a bunch of stuff, and I've got it locked. I don't want it fucked with. What property is that, Tony? Well, it's a little driving around the road. There ain't nothing up there for you guys to fuck with. I just don't want you fucking with my property. I'll tell you what to do when it's time, man. But if you guys breach this fucking security thing that I've got set up, it's just gonna fuck up the whole ball game, baby. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Okay, well, we've got, uh... Now, I'm not trying to be horny about it. I'm not trying to be a big bad man. I'm just telling you the way it is. Okay, well, I'm... I've been honest all my fucking life. Too I'm passing on your messages to the officers that are there. Well, I, I hope they can hear it. <laughs> There again? Yeah. I'm still concerned about this man's family. Bad concern. Okay, well, nobody knows about it but us. Okay. Better tell them fucking people in the front office when they get up here. I mean, these people out here in front of us. Yeah, they know. I'm really worried. His wife's right. recovering from operation. I understand he's got four nights hold your oldest child. Oldest is 10. See, I remember when my dad used to get in tight spots and I'd, I'd worry about it. Really? Now, at least it shows your concern. <laughs> David, yes. you guys better start moving. I've got things planned, I've got things doing, my fucking arm is cramping. Okay, we got to live mine. Okay, we've got the officer over move, there. Got, I mean now. Okay, we got Joe on the phone. There's no officer talk to him now. You want him to call you? Come with her fucking sirens. I asked him not to. You there? Yeah, they got some ambulance. You ain't gonna need no fucking ambulance, I'll tell you that. Well, I mean, not to you, this one passed you. Stopped out front, baby. They ain't gonna need no fucking ambulance. You can tell them that right now. If they get cute, they're gonna need a fucking hearse. They ain't gonna tell you no more. Uh, you want to tell those cars not to go 1039 over there at 129 East Market? Tell them to go 1040. The man is upset. Are the police here, you suppose, babe? Yeah, they should be there. They ought to come on in this fucking office and listen to what I got to say, because my arm's hurting like a son of a bitch. I'm trying to, believe it or not, halfway. That's right. Okay, he wants to talk to somebody over there when they get there. I hope they ain't got no fucking plans. I'm not trying to get us out of here. I'm trying to get him out of here. No, they want to see what, you know, what you got to say first. They'll listen to you. Well, they're going to have, they're going to do a lot of fucking listening. They, this man's got the fucking thing I tell him. I'll guarantee you that. I hope they don't think I'm bluffing, David. Do they think I'm bluffing? Hey. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm listening to you. Do they think I'm bluffing? No, they don't. I've told them. I hope not, baby. There's a fucking shell in the chamber, and he's got the fucking safety in his hand. And I've got my finger on the trigger. And it's wired to a dead man. Okay. Should be a lieutenant over there, too. Dave. Dave. Yeah, I've got the captain on the on the phone now. Who, baby? 
I just called one of the guys in the office. There aren't any police out there. They're either lying to me or they're fucking with me. No, I just talked to you. You know, you know Captain Mills, Don Mills. I probably know him, baby. I know about him. Well, he's him. he's there now, and he wants to call you on the phone. Do you have how many lines you got? They don't have to. I'll walk out there. Okay, hang on a second. Dispatcher thirty thirty one. Dispatcher thirty thirty one. He states he will talk to you personally, sir, rather than on the phone. He can come out to the outer office. All right.